Former Tennessee Titan right guard Nate Davis was picked up by the Chicago Bears and in my opinion it is one of the best free agent pickups because Davis is one of the best guards in the NFL. Yes they paid him about 10 million dollars per year but I think that is 100% worth it. I'm fired up for this video let's jump right into his tape. Alrighty guys let's go ahead and jump right into it. We have an outside zone to the right of your screen. So Davis has to get to the inside here of this defensive lineman and he's going to do just that. Fantastic job being able to reach to the right side of 69 and cutting him off. Now obviously this is a run to the right so that guy was likely not going to make the play regardless but blocking angles is a big part of football and to me the second Davis gets out of his stance here see him take that angle to the right of your screen and look at him adjust his body as he makes contact to shift the hips right there. Obviously he slips on this play, but that right there is a great job cutting off that defensive lineman. That's important because if the running back does not bounce this to the outside and for some reason has to bend it to the backside, the cutoff block here would allow the running back to kick it right in between this gap because he's flipped his hips and he's cut off that defensive tackle. So that's a really, really nice block in my opinion. This is part of what makes Davis such a good football player. Uh, he understands blocking angles, and to me, if a guy understands blocking angles, he's going to be a top-tier football player. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this next rep out. Watch Davis in the right tackle, the rookie right tackle here, pick up the defensive line game. That's a really nice job being able to switch, recognize the game. 69 is going to the left, number 8 is going to come to the inside, and the right guard right tackle pass it off. Beautiful job being able to see it, recognize it, and get back to the inside. Notice how the defensive tackle here is holding the guard. And you can see the guard still able to get back there and pick up number 8. It's a beautiful job processing the defensive line game. Man, sometimes watching offensive line tape, you come across plays like this. Beautiful job by the right guard Davis here. He pulls, bam, makes great contact, and this play hits for 13 yards. This right here is probably Davis's best ability. It's really to get out in space. Now, it could be him pulling or trapping, as you guys see on this play. Other times, it's reach blocks, right? Whether it's an inside zone or an outside zone where he has to get even further or even climbing, right? The guy moves very, very well. And this right here is a beautiful job. Great contact. The helmet lands to the right side here, which is perfect. By him getting his helmet to the right side of that defensive lineman, it ensures the defensive lineman cannot jump to the inside, ultimately allowing the running back to hit the inside lane. This is great contact right there by Davis. Absolutely love it. Let's get into the next rep. Check this next rep out. Nate Davis, in my opinion, is a superstar guard and he's a top five player at his position for plays like this. Great job being able to double team, really help the center overtake the guy that's lined up in the two eye technique here. Davis is gonna take a short step to his right. The center is gonna take a wide step. They're gonna double team. The center is gonna overtake and then Davis is gonna pick off the backside linebacker. This is a really, really nice job getting out of his stance making great contact, allowing your center to overtake, flipping your hips, and then look at him get off the block when the center overtakes and pick off that backside linebacker. When I say Davis is special, it's because of plays like this. I mean, the running back literally picks up three yards because of the fact that the offense line just seals it off. This is absolutely top tier stuff. And I love watching these type of plays. Davis, in my opinion, is a very fun study because of plays like this, right? Outside zone, inside zone, power plays where he traps or he pulls. The guy's just a top tier guard. Let's get into the next rep. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get into this next run rep. 50 yard run right here by Derrick Henry. Nate Davis does a really nice job on this play. Now, Henry obviously is the reason why this play pops. Not only does he read the hole initially, but then he makes some really nice cutbacks throughout this play. And you guys will see that here from the end zone angle. But we'll keep an eye on Davis. We'll highlight him after you guys watch the actual clip here. Great cutback by, by Henry. Great vision being able to see it. 50 yards just like that. Let's get into the right guard here. First and foremost, everyone's going to block down because this is a power run. Davis is going to pull and get up into the gap. And he needs to block his guy to the outside. So the guy he picks up is going to fill. And Davis has to make sure to seal it off to the outside. You got a guy seal off here. The receiver will also get in here and seal to the inside. And the running back is meant to go to the inside of the guard. So as the play continues, Henry's going to take the ball, and the hole is right there for Henry. The O-line does a beautiful job, and Davis is even going to seal to the outside. If you look closely to Davis' right hand, he's going to seal this guy to the outside. Just backing it up a frame here, you can see that right hand of Davis come, punch, 
and the defender ends up to the outside lane. So it's a great job right there by Davis. And of course, Henry does a great job cutting it back and he ends up picking up 50 yards on this run. This is an absolute beautiful job. Let's get into the next rep. Final reps from the Jags game. The Jags are gonna send a bunch of guys here and basically the offense line has to figure it out. Davis is gonna do a really nice job allowing the defensive tackle wind up in the three technique right over him. He's gonna allow that guy to go to the inside. The defensive end's crashing hard. He's gonna let that guy go as well because that's not his responsibility. And he's gonna find the guy that he's supposed to block and you see he picks it up nicely. The quarterback is kept just enough clean where he's able to get the pass off. And you see that the tight end here is gonna take it for 24 yards. But this is great processing by Davis. To be able to recognize which guy is his, which guy is the running backs, which guy is the centers. The processing on Davis is top tier and I love watching plays like this. That's a really, really nice job. Check this play out. Beautiful job here by the right guard. Uh, you guys aren't gonna see it from this angle, but you guys can watch the entire play and then we'll go back and watch it from the end zone angle. You guys can see Derrick Henry takes it all the way down. Um, this was an interesting play because he did end up fumbling, but let's go ahead and watch the actual rep. All right, let's, let's watch the actual rep. Beautiful job in my opinion by Davis. You guys keep an eye on him. Davis is going to end up falling as he's trying to get out of this. And this is a great job by a guard, a 315 pound beast to get back up and get down and make a key block. Without this block right here on Wilson, the linebacker, this play does not work in my opinion beautiful beautiful job by the right guard love that by him to be able to get down there and pick a guy up even as he falls initially as the play begins this right here is top tier processing top tier agility right to get up get back into full speed and get up to that guy beautiful job let's get into the next rep check this next rep out you got another play of davis pulling from the right to the left and this is just great contact. A helmet lands on the correct side. Great contact. The running back ends up picking up nine yards on this play. This is exactly what I like to see from a guy that's going to pull. You want to be able to get your helmet on these inside runs to the inside as opposed to the outside. Because you do not want this guy here to be able to jump and potentially make the play to the inside. Once again, really nice contact by Davis to get to the inside. And just an overall really nice play design. Super simple stuff, but it works, man. When you got the guys that can pull and pull well and get out in front and make these type of blocks as Davis can, this is just really, really nice stuff. Once again, beautiful play. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. We just saw this same play against the Bengals. The screen to the left. Watch Davis once again here get downfield and pick off one of the defensive players. Again, Nate Davis out in space is dangerous. He finds the safety, I believe that's who that is, number 20, and he cuts him off once again. And this play ends up hitting for 42 yards. This stuff is absolutely special. Out in space, Davis is a dangerous football player. And I see the Bears doing a lot of these type of things where you get your offensive linemen out in space and you let them do things. Davis is going to be special. Now, a lot of people aren't sure if he's going to start at right guard or at left guard. In my opinion... It only makes sense he ends up starting at left guard because I think Tevin Jenkins obviously still being on his rookie contract makes a whole ton of sense at the right guard position. Again, Davis at left guard, Jenkins at right guard, I think makes the most sense just because of the fact that that gives you the two best guards out there on the field. Love Cody White here, but I think it's time for the Bears to upgrade. Either way, I'm very excited for Davis, and I want to wrap the video up here with this final rep. Beautiful job by Davis to double team on Chris Jones and get up to the second level and pick off the second level defender. This play right here pops for 24 yards, and this does not work without Davis. And his insane ability to double team, allow your tackle or guard to overtake, and then basically get up to the next level. This stuff right here is not something that everyone can do. Great job with the right hand. Allow the tackle to overtake. Get your body in position with that angle to cut off that linebacker. Turn the hips. Put the butt towards where the running back's going. To me, this right here is a superstar block by a superstar football player. And to get him for only $10 million a year, I love this pickup for the Chicago Bears. And I love the pickup to benefit the young quarterback in Justin Fields. Again, to me, get as many great players out there and have success. And that's exactly what the Chicago Bears are doing. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.